I know I'm really lucky to have the beach and the coastline and the mountains nearby, but I think there's always something that we can think about photographing. And today I'm doing something with a bit more of an urban feel. I hope you'll enjoy the video. If you do, and you're new here, don't forget to hit subscribe before you go. Good morning everyone, thanks for joining me. And today is something a bit different because I want to try and do some more urban shots this morning. I've come up by the park here at El Campeo. There's a bridge goes over the park and then there's some apartment buildings in the background. But I think what I'm gonna start with for this first shot, while the lights, the street lights are still on, is the normal wide angle lens the 11 to 22 with a vertical perspective and i've already got a composition set up and the camera on the tripod so let's have a look at that so very simple composition bridge comes in from the bottom left there's the pool under the bridge and then the building over on the right hand side and there's some street lights in there as well and i'm going to take two or three versions of this because then if there's any people or things moving in the scene it'll be easier to remove them So at the moment there are some people moving in the frame, um, walking up here with some dogs. So if I shoot several shots with them in different places, it will be really easy to just blend those together um, using the scenes where they're not in it when I want to create the final image. So I've just come up to the other side of the bridge and I'm actually now looking away from those buildings and down towards the coast. I'm making a feature of the bridge and the pool underneath, but what we're seeing is the potential actually for a, quite a nice sky. I can already see a little bit of glow in there uh, and it might just be that in a few more minutes as the sun uh, starts to come up that we get some nice colors there so i'm hoping i'm going to be able to get that i might have to put some filters on just to hold the sky back a bit because it is uh, looking quite bright compared to the foreground but at the moment it's just about balancing So I grabbed that vertical shot and then I could see over to the left of the scene the sky was lighting up and there were some rays coming up so I quickly changed over to a uh, horizontal composition with the bridge coming in on the right hand side coming in from the bottom right hand corner with that reflecting pool there's a bit of grass and that comes in from the bottom left there's buildings across the back and then quite a nice sky 
with, I say, that sort of glow and the rays coming in there with a three stop and a two stop hard edged ND grad in. So I'm going to have quite a bit of shadow recovery to do in the buildings, um, but that's okay, it should work all right. I could have just shot it like two exposures and merged them, you know, in uh, Photoshop with uh, luminosity masks, but I chose to use the filters. It's it's kind of six or one half a dozen to the other because if I uh, to shoot two exposures I'm going to have to merge them if I shoot the single exposures I can just do a bit of shadow recovery in the buildings So I've come back over to where I was at the very start of this, back looking towards the buildings along the bridge. And the reason I've done that is because the sunlight's come through, it's putting some light on the buildings. It's also lighting up some clouds behind the buildings. So it's very, very similar composition to what I had originally. Sorry, traffic going past. With the bridge coming in, the pool underneath, the buildings are partially reflected in the pool and some light on the buildings and that little bit of cloud behind. Okay, that's it, something a little bit different for this morning then, a little bit of sort of modern architectural landscape, urban photography, I don't know what you want to call it, but something different. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please uh, give the video a like, share it on social media, leave me a comment, let me know what you think. If you've enjoyed this video and you're new here, don't forget to hit subscribe before you go. And as always, I really appreciate you taking the time to watch, so thank you very much, and until the next video. Bye.